So when I cross face, I'm always going to go with this hand here, inside of the collar, past his tag. Right? So when Mike tries to turn into me, my cross face is going to turn him away. Okay? My wrist, my forearm, turning his face. Okay? So Mike turn into me. So Mike turn it on. Okay, it's important to know how to cross face. Because the moment a big guy tries to explode into you to get his guard back, you gotta do a lot of work to pass the guard. Okay, so as soon as I pass, I'll get rid of this staple, and then I'll go straight for the cross face, grab, he tries to bump turn, boom. I pin his head the other way. He tries to recover. I really put emphasis on his chin. Here. Then I put my hip down. Okay, so getting to side control, I try not to stay on his hips. I try to get on his shoulder line and I want to pin his shoulders down. Okay, so knee stapling the arm is important. Getting the lapel is important and cross facing is important. Okay, when it comes to big guys, I do not, <clears throat> I do not prefer the mount because they normally have really big bellies, whether or not they drink a lot of beer. I can never get my knees on the floor. If you ever roll with somebody huge, you're, you're teetering. You know, my knee is gonna be one side down, one side up. So mounting a big guy is not ideal because you could just roll over and then you're gonna fall over and he's gonna squash you, okay? so. Mount for me is more of a transitional position. I might get here for a little while, he's gonna bump. I'll let it go, go in the unbelly, then I'll transition, okay? And then another thing too, when I go for submissions, I'm not gonna try arm bar, I'm gonna try mostly chokes on bigger guys, okay? So I'll go for baseball chokes, I'll go for a lapel choke, I go for chokes that take, utilizes his lapel or my lapel, okay? It's really hard to stop when they're much bigger and stronger. Trying to armbar a big guy is not easy because they're gonna muscle their elbows in or they're gonna curl you and you're gonna waste energy, okay? So a lot of what I do, again, is specific for bigger guys, right? Try to play top. I don't want to get squashed on the bottom. If I'm playing guard, I always put a foot on their hip, control the distance. Once I get side control, I pin that arm, pin the shoulder, cross face to control, and then I start looking for a uh, possible submission. Okay. Um, other things that I do is I like to arm drag. Okay, so if a big guy is is here, and I can't get my guard up in time, but he does grab me, I'm gonna grab two on one, okay? So I'll get some type of arm drag position on him, and go here, if he does pass, then I'll arm drag. Okay? So having that arm drag against big guys is also a good safety measure, because he's trying to grab me here, and I arm drag him, and he tries to pass. All of his weight is gonna go on the side of me. Okay? I can either go to his back or take him down on a single, but I don't want him directly squashing me. That's the thing I'm trying to avoid the most with bigger guys. Okay? Okay. One more principle um, side control. If a big guy does pass me, I never put my hand on the hip, okay? Because if he turns his hip this way, he could wrist lock me. So whenever they get past my legs, I'm always gonna grab the frame of, of his bicep and his shoulder. So if he tries to settle down on side control, I'm never gonna let him grab my hip, okay? So now that we have this frame here, I can start working my way out. 
can start tripping or recovering my guard because he's really got to hold my head on my collar to get a good side control. Right? He's going to try. I can push it over and just escape out here. Okay. That's the number one thing with the side control. You never want your opponent to grab this because this is bad for me. He's going to start pinning me. So before he touches my collar or my neck, I'm gonna hold, and he tries to come away, I'm gonna hold this to my last bit of energy because I don't want to give him that collar or that head control. Right? So right here, I'm trying to battle. Then I'll find a way out, okay? It's easier to escape if you can block this near side arm from grabbing your neck or your collar. Absolutely essential to surviving and recovering your guard. Okay, last thing about bigger, bigger guys is you don't want them to mount you. I think for me, the kiss of death when I'm rolling with somebody 100 pounds heavier is when they go to the mount. I would much rather give them my back than the mount. Because the mount, they're gonna crush you and they're gonna take away space and they're gonna end up choking you. Or just by the, the mere pressure of them being so heavy, you could probably tap, get tapped, right? So when someone that big tries to go for the mount, I'm gonna push the hips and I'm gonna turtle and fight the back position, okay? The reason why is because if I did fight the mount and somehow he took my back right here and he's 100 pounds heavier, my weight is on him. His weight's not on me. So he's bigger. He did get my back, but I escaped the mount. I can then use my weight on top of him to survive. Right? I just gotta worry about getting choked. So I'm not the choke, but I, I have much better breathing, have much better way of recovery here. Um, of course, it's going to try and finish me, but when I get the chance, then I'll get out of the, that position and start escaping off the side. Okay? Again, I don't want to get mounted or my back taken again, so I'm going to block his leg from getting on top of me and by putting pressure this way, and then I can recover after I'm on the inside of him. Okay. So, To sum it up, you know, big guys are a problem if they smash you, right? Of course, they got a lot more pressure, but with my principles and tips of how to roll with big guys, I think you'll survive much longer and you figure it out and then you'll get your game. Okay, again, my whole theory is try to get on top first. If not, if you have to play guard, you gotta stick your foot on the hip or foot on the shoulder or at least foot somewhere on their body where you can control the distance and a lot of times it would be lasso guard spider guard foot on the hip tripod sweep uh, x guard stuff like that where you can control the distance okay and then when i do passing i don't want to get tangled up in his leg so i always try to get one leg and start passing from there get around it, get over it, whatever. But I never want to get entangled in his guard. All right, and then the other part is when I get to side control, I'm always gonna look for pinning the near side arm, uh, grabbing the lapel, hitting his shoulders, and using a cross face. That's, those three are very important to control a bigger partner, a bigger opponent. Um, and surviving, right? Um, I think a lot of beginners, what you guys do wrong is you're too eager to try to submit someone and trying to rush when you're on side control or mount with a big guy, you're gonna lose the position. So you gotta slow it down and you gotta try to stay on top because I'm telling you the kiss of death is they roll you and smash you and you're on the bottom of the mount. You don't wanna go there. Okay? So all of my, my rows, 
I desperately try to avoid getting squashed in the bottom of my mouth and I'm able to survive. Especially without them grabbing my collar or neck and I can block that arm, I find that a lot easier to escape and survive. And it's all about survival with bigger guys. It's not about dominating or, or submitting them three, four times. It's about surviving. Okay? So you gotta really play with using guards to control the distance and then using an arm drag to get their back or get them off balance. The, the only good thing about being smaller is you're quicker than the big guy most times. Okay? Most times, big guys, they're slower, they're very lethargic, they run out of energy. So if you're quicker, you can out jujitsu them. You just gotta know what moves to do. Okay? But the minute they start squashing you, you gotta escape. Don't, don't wait three seconds. You gotta escape immediately. That's the key with rolling with big guys. Don't wait when they're near smashing you. You gotta shrimp, you gotta block, you gotta frame, do whatever. The minute they smash you and you can't move, you might as well tap because I don't think you can explode out of it on a 300 pound guy's leg flat on you. Just tap. Okay? Tapping will save you from injuries and tapping will keep you safe so you can roll again, especially against a bigger guy. You never want to take take a chance or push push your limit because I've been hurt quite a few times getting squashed by big guys. Those are my key tips on avoiding getting smashed by bigger guys. See you guys later. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, of course.